the days of creating chatbots with uh, flow builders and trying to design a conversation, uh, those days are coming to an end uh, for marketers because you, I think marketers have come to realize that it's very hard to create a funnel where people are going to follow a, a specific series of steps and expect that to work perfectly every time. Conversations have always taken a number of turns uh, and AI seems to be able to handle uh, what happens when conversations take a number of turns and and be able to get users through your funnel or hit your goal. So your goal in this case is to fill up a spreadsheet full of leads and uh, all you need to do to get started is create a goal. So we've given some examples of how you might use bot sheets. Uh, maybe you're using it to, to uh, get new business. Maybe you want to capture some feedback and get some responses to a survey. Um, maybe you're hiring for a, a position and you want to screen potential candidates and collect that data. Uh, or maybe you're just trying to set up an appointment with uh, a potential customer and, and they want to come to your local business. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, is just give it a goal. And, and you don't need to put a lot of information here. But my goal is to, uh, uh, to sell, sell more homes in my city. Okay. Now you can provide more details or just enough details that uh, it'll let you continue and go to the next step. Now from here, you're going to just want to give the bot some knowledge so it can answer questions. Uh, and you have currently have three options. So you can import a URL. So if you have a, a website with an FAQ page or an about page or even your homepage where you have a, a fair amount of content, we can use that as a knowledge base. And you can just type that in and you'll do one URL at a time. If you have some documents uh, that provide some knowledge, then you can import those in PDF format. So you can just drag that right here. And then finally, we have this other option. Uh, which is if you don't have documentation, or you don't have a website, but you have some data points, that's all we need to be able to train AI. So you just click uh, input data and let's say uh, my data point is location and my des description is um, uh, Miami. Okay, and so then you can just add that and it's immediately added. And, and we only need, uh, you know, a little bit of information to be able to generate a, a conversational experience that's engaging. Uh, all we need are the key data points and AI will take care of the rest. Maybe we want to add our, our hours and uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So when someone says, you know, when are you open, uh, it, it'll generate a response. Uh, constructing that response using uh, very limited amounts of data. Um, so I'll just put... Monday to Friday, and I'll add that. So you, you can add uh, all different types of knowledge, whether you manually type it in, you import a doc, or you import a URL. And uh, coming soon is you'll be able to add the spreadsheet, and we'll be able to generate cards with GPT. So if someone says, uh, you know, I'm looking for uh, a, a condo on the beach in Miami with three bedrooms, um, you know, we'll automatically use uh, AI to extract all of the, the data that, that you're going to want to collect and uh, be able to search the sheet and generate cards. Uh, and this is from our original product where we dynamically generate cards within a chatbot. So that'll be within the chatbots that you create with bot sheets. And we'll also extend an API for that. So you'll be able to plug that into ManyChat or Go High Level or any uh, chatbot solution that you're using uh, and you want to keep Google Sheets uh, to manage content, you'll be able to add that as a knowledge source and generate those responses that uh, have made bot sheets um, popular among marketers to be able to have a call to action uh, with an image, a title, a description, uh, and, and a button uh, right inside of a conversational experience. So let's click continue. And, and at this point now, we're going to want to just tell AI what data we want to collect from a conversation. And if it receives messages, it'll automatically extract that data. So then it th therefore doesn't need to ask the questions uh, to collect it. 
but otherwise it's going to ask for uh, uh, data that it needs to collect and based on the based on my goal and and we've suggested some data points here and it's going to work to collect that by generating questions so it doesn't just generate responses to questions it receives it generates questions to collect responses so i'm going to want to know somebody's name and i'm going to want to get their email and i'm going to want to know where what city i'm going to want to know all of these things their budget uh, i want to know how many bedrooms and bathrooms and uh, i want to know their timeline and i can also influence the behavior of the bot by setting some of these fields as required. Uh, so if I want their name and their email and I want to know their budget um, and maybe I want another timeline, those are required fields. So the bot is going to be persistent about collecting that data for me. Uh, it's going to ask questions for the other stuff, but it's it's it'll, if, if I don't want to provide it or I don't have an answer, it's just going to move on. But if, if data is required, it's going to be persistent about collecting it. Uh, and and so we can add our own data points if we uh, in addition to any of we don't want to pick from these suggested ones or we want additional ones we just click add new data point and we give it an example so um, you know maybe we want to know if it's uh, if they're looking for something um, you know uh, with a garage so, so uh, I, I tend to use underscores but you don't need to uh, you know, a customer wants a house with a garage. And um, are you looking? Oh, how important is a garage uh, to your purchase? So you can add all these data points and just make sure to select it. And it'll then generate a question in the conversational experience to collect that. Now it's also going to prior, prioritize on its own what questions to ask. So it'll ask questions in a logical order. It's not going to start off the conversation uh, asking how many bedrooms they're looking for. Uh, it's going to make a decision about what what data is most important to to my goal of generating a lead, and then it'll iterate through all the data points in a in a logical order. And so I can click continue, and I can give it some rules. So uh, the rules, uh, we're going to build out these rules over time, but some basic rules that we have right now are, uh, you know, how, how are you going to get the conversation started? So uh, I'm an assist, AI assistant ready to help you uh, with your next uh, real estate uh, purchase. And uh, a great way to start a conversation is by asking a question. So you don't need to uh, ask a, a question but it's recommended that you add a leading question. So you just select yes, and then it'll uh, it'll give you a bunch of example questions that you may want to pick based on the data that you're looking to collect from the conversation. So, you know, all of these things, budget, bedrooms, bathrooms, um, you know, so I can pick from these, uh, what's, what, within what time frame do you plan to purchase a home? So uh, that just gets the conversation going, and we can start collecting data, and... We'll also want to pick the tone of the conversation. So uh, we default to witty, which is kind of a nice blend of professional, but still casual and entertaining. So it's it's engaging. I find that the, the witty tone is engaging, but you can change that and it can be a little bit more sassy and sarcastic um, or just professional uh, and con or concise. So it feels more like a, a, a form. Uh, but Witty makes it feel more like a, a like you're chatting with a human. It gives it it humanizes the the experience, and that's uh, that's it. So you only have the next step. The last step is just to test your bot, and uh, you can just start sending it messages, and and start to see it working. So the time to value is very quick. Uh, you can then share your bot. So right now we have uh, options uh, for web. So you can embed uh, an iframe into a page, and uh, that essentially can replace a contact form or a lead generation form that you might have in a, in a website. A chat widget will drop a, a, an icon in the bottom right corner of your screen, and you can customize that to match your, your brand's look and feel. Or you can just share a direct link. So you might put that in an email, uh, or maybe you uh, have a, a social uh, bio 
or a link in bio tool and you want to funnel users from that right into a, uh, into a conversational experience that's going to, uh, where, where AI is going to work to collect lead data for you. Um, you can access uh, your Google Sheet at every any time. And when someone engages with your bot, it, it'll email you a link and you can then, it, with a link to the sheet, and you can then just go collect the details. And then, of course, you have some, some more control over, uh, you know, maybe I want to change this to real estate. So we default the name, real estate bot. And uh, you can always, uh, you know, add more data if you want to collect more data or change the, some of the, you know, the behavior about collecting required data, add more documents if you don't have those initially when you set up a bot, so you can add those later. And you can uh, customize the rules, including uh, the prompt. You might want to give it specific rules uh, within the experience uh, about how the bot should behave in certain uh, circumstances. And then finally, uh, branding. Very simple for now. We've just, uh, you know, you can customize the look and feel of the widget here. Um, maybe I want a blue header and maybe I want the icon to be red. And, uh, and then I can save that. So that is uh, the easiest way uh, to get started and build a lead generation bot on top of Google Sheets. And it's uh, directly integrated and uh, uh, to, to collect data effortlessly. And soon we'll extend an API so that you can connect uh, any other chatbot tool to bot sheets and, and leverage these capabilities.